Hello everybody, this is Dr. Noor Badshah from University of Engineering and Technology, Peshawar. In this video, I'll be talking about uh, Jacobi method, which is used for solution of system of linear equations. My main focus in this video will be uh, explaining how do we use calculator uh, for Jacobi method. Okay. At the beginning of the lecture, I'll be talking about uh, basic concepts, the basic method steps are used uh, in, in Jacobi method for solution of system of equations. Let's suppose we have uh, uh, this system of linear equations which contains n variables when there will be n equations. The first step to use Jacobi method is you need to check uh, whether the given uh, system is diagonally dominant. So for diagonally dominant we basically check the uh, value of diagonal entries if you convert the given system of equation into matrix form. In other words, we can say that in equation 1, the coefficient of x1 and that coefficient of x1 which is a11 in this case, that would be the absolute value of a11 that should be greater than the sum of the remaining coefficients. That is uh, a11 absolute should be greater than or equal to a11 to a12 plus a13 up to a1n and we solve this equation for x1 then which means leaving x1 to the left side and taking everything to the right side you see this is the equation similarly the second equation uh, the coefficient of x2 that must be greater than or equal to sum of the remaining coefficients keeping in mind that's absolute sum okay so uh, in that case you would say a to 2 absolute that should be greater than or equal to absolute of a to 1 plus a to 3 up to a to n and so on the last equation the coefficient of x n that should be which is a n n absolute value that must be greater than or equal to some of the remaining absolute coefficients that is a n 1 absolute plus a n 2 absolute and so on and then we solve this equation for xn. In this case, you see xn is equal to what? That is bn minus uh, an1, an2, and so on with x1 uh, and x2. And then by using the initial approximations, uh, like replacing x1 with x10, which could be 0, 0, 0, all this value could be 0. You may take any value. You can take uh, 1, 1, 1, you may take 1, 1, 0, something like that. This is the initial guess and you have to choose it yourself. So using these values here, if you put x2, 0 is equal to 0, x3, 0 will be taken as 0 here. That would give you x1, 1, that's the first upgraded value or updated value of x1. The same thing for x2, the same thing for x3 and so on up to xn. Okay, so generally we could write that xik plus 1, that's a k plus 1 iterative value of xi, where i is starting from 1 and going up to n. That would be 1 over ai, you see that in every equation we are dividing it by the diagonal entry that is a1 ii. And then we have bi minus summation of uh, uh, ai I, I, j x if you write that in sigma notation, otherwise you can simply write in this form as well. I'll be explaining this method by using example as well and the example is we have considered this system of equation 10x1 minus 2x2 minus x3 minus x4 is equal to 3 minus 2x1 plus 10x2 and so on this is another equation and so on. So we first check whether the system is diagonally dominant or not the diagonally dominance is required for the convergence of <coughs> Jacobi method sorry. And for that purpose, what do we do? If you see the coefficient of x1 in the first equation is 10, and that must be greater than the sum of the remaining coefficient, that is 2 plus 1 plus 1, which is true. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Similarly, in the second equation, the coefficient of x2, which is 10, again, it will be greater than sum of the other coefficient, that is 2, 1, and 1. In the third equation, coefficient of x3 is 10, which is greater than the other coefficients. It's 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 4. So 10 is greater than 4, and so on. 
all right and in this case we take the initial value is uh, 0 0 0 that is x1 uh, 0 is 0 x2 0 is also 0 x3 0 is 0 x4 0 is 0 as well now uh, the first step is for any numerical method for system or solution of system of equation is we'll be solving this equation one for x1 Equation 2 will be solved for x2, equation 3 will be solved for x3, equation 4 will be solved for x4. So we get the following uh, steps, see, x1 is this one and then x2 is dividing, uh, taking all other components than x2 uh, to the right side and dividing it by 10. And then by introducing these uh, iterative values, so you see, for k is equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on, we will be having x1 k plus 1 that is equal to 3 plus 2 x2 k where k plus 1 is the updated updative value where is k is representing the uh, previous uh, uh, values from the previous iteration. So we will be using values from previous iteration and we will be getting the values of these uh, x1, x2, x3 and x4 in the next iteration. Right. So initially, uh, if we put uh, x20 for I, k is equal to 0, what would happen? We'll be having x11 that will equal to 3 plus 2x20, x30 and x40, whereas x20, x30, x40, all of them will be taken 0 initially. So x11 will give you 0 0.3. Similarly, in the second one, we'll be having x21, that is 15 plus 2x10, x30, and x40, whereas x1, x3, x40 are taken as 0. So that will give you 15 divided by 10, which is 1.5. And the next one, that will give you 27 by 10, which is 2.7, and so on. And then we'll be using the updated value, right? And so I say for k is equal to 1, we'll be having x12 that is equal to 3 plus 2x21 plus x31 plus x41 and then divided by 10 where x21 x31 x41 which were found in the previous iteration they were 3 by 10 15 by 10 27 by 10 minus 9 by 10 using all these values in the next iteration to get the updated value so i'll be basically explaining how do we do that by using calculator because manually it uh, it becomes a little bit more laborious to to put those values and then simplify it and then again putting these values so how do we do that by using calculator uh, to 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 uh, do these iterations directly so after doing some uh, iterations up to 12 iterations uh, the, these iterations are these uh, values will be converging to the almost converging to the actual root so I'll be doing these steps by using calculator. How do we do that? So uh, it, it's uh, it's very important to understand that. Okay. So uh, let me explain that by using calculator. So in step number one, uh, what you would do, you have to change the mode of calculator to read uh, to to math mode. It is in the math at this moment. It's a matrix mode. So you have to convert that into uh, um, math mode which could be f done by this way so I'll just put uh, press this key which is mode and then press 1 to convert that into math mode and then I'll be writing these equations uh, let me have the equations here so then I'll move towards the iteration so what I would do uh, I'll be using two different set of uh, 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 representation notations in Jacobi specifically on the right side I'll be having x2 x1 x2 x3 x4 these are the variables with kth uh, iteration so I'll be uh, basically calling them or labeling them with these variables a b c and d whereas the left values which are the updated values x1 k plus 1 x2 k plus 1 x3 k plus 1 x4 k plus 1 I'll be representing them with the other variables like you may represent them with E, F, X and Y and keeping them in mind because I'll be using these values again and again. So this value will be replaced uh, if we just call this these values. Let me, let me do that. Uh, if we let me call this one as E right where uh, this the value will be called as my F. 
right and uh, this value I would call it simply x and I'll just call this value is my y whereas these values if I'm using this one so I'll be uh, calling this one x1 is 1 as a right keeping this in mind x1 will be taken as a let me write that here for you just to, to keep that in mind okay so I just call it like uh, x1 will be taken as my a whereas x2 will be considered as my b x3 will be considered as my c and x4 will be considered as my d so on the right side i'll be representing by these one whereas on the left side i'll be representing these values with uh, uh, you see that e f x and y so how do we do that so let me insert these equations okay the so first one is i'll just go for alpha and i would write the left side which i call that uh, e so i'll simply say e and then equal for equal i'll be using this one and then i'll just go for this equation so just introduce the fraction it is 3 then we have plus 2 now you see it's x2 but i call that x2 is b so i'll just represent that with b then we have plus <coughs> And then we have uh, C, so I'll just call it C plus D. Right, this is the equation I have just input 3 plus 2 A B plus C and then plus D divided by 10. Okay, and then we will be using a separator. Right, and the next variable on the left side is F, so I'll just represent that with F and then equal same equation this one now which is 15 and then we have plus 2 x1 now so x1 will be replaced with a plus then we have c then we have d and the denominator it is divided by 10 then we go for the next separator and then the third equation is for x so x is equal to again going for the fraction and that is 27 plus we have now a plus then we have b plus then we have d but it's 2 times d divided by 10 then we go for another equation which will be uh, defined for y so alpha and then we have y equals again going for fraction and then we have minus 9 plus x1 is what that is our a plus x2 which is b plus x 2x3 which is uh, c and then we have divided by 10 so we are all done now we have insert all these equations in the calculator so what i would do now i'll just simply press a calc when i press calc it will ask about the values of a b c and d initially we have taken the values as zero so i'll just zero equal c is also zero equals d is also zero equals and then it will be asking about a which is zero right so that's give you the first values so i move to the uh, next slide just to show the values so you see the first value of e where e is basically representing the x1 the updated value of x1 so it is 0.3 then press equal it will give you something like 1.5 which is 3 by 2 or 1.5 that's the value of x2 which is uh, as i said represented by f 
then press equal which is uh, the next value of x3 and y which is representing x4 which is uh, minus 0 0.9 now how do we get the value for the next iteration i'll just press equal and it will ask about b now so what i would i do i will replace b with its corresponding value on the left side which is uh, f so b will be replaced with f C will be replaced with X, D will be replaced every time we do that. So D will be replaced with Y and A will be replaced with, keeping in mind that was replaced with E. So you just give it value E and then press equal. So we get the next value is 0 0.78 for E, which is the X1, obviously. The next value is uh, 1.74. You see this value, the same thing and then press equal to get the next value which is 2.7 and then we press equal to get uh, this value of minus 0.18 right so again press equal replacing b with uh, its value that is f replacing c with its value of x replacing d its value with y and replacing value of a with e and then press equal to get the next updated value which is 0 0.9 you see that then again press equal to get the next value which is 1.908 then press equal you will get the next value of uh, uh, x3 which is 2.916 press equal to get the next value which is uh, minus 0.108 and so on then if you press again equal it will ask about b so replacing b with the f C with X, D with the Y, and A with E. Again, you get the next value, updated value 0.9624. That is 1.9608. Press equal to get 2.9592. And the next value is uh, minus 0 0.036. And, and so on. That's the way to do it. You see, press equal. It will ask about uh, again about B. So you will give the value of B as F. Press equal. The C will be replaced with X. Then we press equal and then replacing uh, D with the Y and A with its value E. And then we get the next updated value, which is 0 0.9845, right? and then press equal which is 1.98 and 48 press equal that will give you 2.9851 and then you press equal which give you uh, minus 0 0.01584 and so on so this process will be continued unless you get to 12 iteration or 11 iteration to get the actual root that is x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2 x3 is equal to 3 whereas x4 is equal to 0 is the solution of this system of equation so i hope it's clear to everybody so thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel if you have any question you can just drop uh, a message to me i'll just get back to you thank you very much see you in next video